everyone, before we get to the vlog today, I'd like to congratulate our Future City team for the Academy for Science and Foreign Language on your hard work and efforts at the Nationals for Future City in Washington, D.C. Our students won Professional Engineering Award. These students have qualified nine times for the Nationals with the help of Ms. Trailer, our school teacher, and Mr. Ray, the engineer. So great job on a work well done. Enjoy the video, folks. Hello and thank you for joining me for another vlog on Andy Blaylock 2020. Please subscribe to this channel by going below and clicking the subscribe button. Today I come to you from Washington DC, our nation's capital. I've been in Washington for a couple days now as I'm speaking to you in this vlog. I've been here so many times. I lived in Fairfax, Virginia 18 years ago while attending college at Nova Annandale campus. But this trip has been special. I made the decision to clear my head while being here in Washington and consider the objectives of our country and the points of the Constitution as it was written so many years ago. Just yesterday, I visited the Capitol building where Congress and the Senate meet to discuss legislation. While touring, I observed murals, statues of inspirational contributors to the nation, and listened to our guide give us a narrated walk through time. After lunch, I visited the White House, where I witnessed the Red Room, Blue Room, Green Room, Library, China Room, and more. <laughs> Lots of rooms. While walking through, I took time to read the stories of each room and presidents and their families that have resided there. Today, I visited the most impactful place anywhere in or around Washington. In fact, it is my heavy opinion that it's the most precious place in our nation the Arlington Cemetery. Men and women have been buried there as far back as 1864, when the Army seized the land and designated 200 acres as a military cemetery. Men and women who gave their lives for our country, who were involved in providing life, liberty, and justice for all. If you visit the tomb of the unknown soldier, you will see the backdrop of our Washington Monument and our nation's capital. These soldiers gave their lives for our freedom. As I stood there thinking about the unknown soldiers and the nation's capital in that background, there was one captivating thought that continued to course through my mind. Our leaders of this country have a huge responsibility to ensure that we have freedom, protection, and the opportunity to evolve each day into a better version than our country was yesterday. Our leaders, from local commissioners to representatives, senators, and the president, should all be honored that the people have entrusted them to govern our country to pass legislation that improves our quality of life and provide opportunities for the people to prosper so that ultimately our country may do the same. There is no house that can stand without a firm foundation. The people must be the foundation, the representatives and senators, the walls, and our president, the roof. Our people must unite by first agreeing to vote, regardless if you think it will do any good. Concrete does not set if the ratio of water and mix isn't correct. Too much of one and not the other will cause the foundation to sit only as powder or mush. This also stands true of political parties. We are so inept with the ideas that one should be either Democrat or Republican. Our focus, however, must be simply on the candidates who align most with our ideas. We must work together as the people to form the foundation, become united, and respect one another for our beliefs similar and different. The representatives are elected in the districts of each state to serve as a voice for the people. The senators are elected in a more intimate role to serve the state. Just as the walls stand tall from the foundation of a house, so too these members of our legislative branch of government should respect their roles and remember the foundation which they extend from passing legislation. I encourage them to work relentlessly to unite under one house on the hill to improve our country each day. Our president serves the greatest role in our country. The saying, it gets lonely at the top, could not ring more true and accurate with my analogy of the president acting as the roof to our house. 
The president must be the first to protect us, to defend our land, just as the roof is the first to catch hail from a storm. As the sign in the National Museum of American History states, on any given day, he might have to make life and death decisions, propose policies that will change the course of the country, and then greet a group of elementary children. So many personalities. These moments require great poise, pride, and confidence, as well as walls and a foundation that respects him in order to withstand the toughest of times. So I conclude my experience in Washington, D.C. with a quote from President John F. Kennedy. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Please consider your role in this great nation as the foundation it is your responsibility to put aside party and to unite on voting day. I encourage a record voter turnout. We are voting more than a president. We are voting for our representatives and senators who make up our Congress, who are our voice, who propose the bills and send them on to our president to be signed into law. We are voting for our mayors and commissioners who influence the congressmen and congresswomen and govern locally. We are uniting as a foundation, and when voting day is over and those who receive the honorable role as the elected leaders of our country are sworn into office, I encourage our foundation to be strong, to respect the walls and the roof of our house. Communicate to those people, to those elected leaders, our needs, wishes, and preferences to which our country is governed, but do so with respect. I request that you consider these ideas because we owe it to ourselves, our future generations, and so much to those who have lost their own lives or loved ones whose fault for our generation. But I also request that our politicians remember that we are not Democrats and Republicans. When you are elected, you are there for all the people. I hope that you all have a great day. God bless you, your friends and family, and God bless the United States of America. America.